let me lock the video spotlight. All right, so perfect. So everyone should be able to see me and hear me. If you can't, let me know. Um, but we're going to start Cute Fit today. So today's um, class is going to be strength. We're going to do some abs, um, arms, and just a little bit of legs. So kind of full body strength today. Um, so we're going to get started. So the first move we're going to do is actually going to be seated. So you're going to have your back off the chair a little bit, but still straight. So I'm just not hunching over or using the back support of it. So I'm holding up myself. And what you're going to think about doing is squeezing your abs as if someone's about to punch you. So I want you to really squeeze and hold and breathe. So right now it should be kind of hard to talk. We're going to hold and relax and release. So we're just going to do those for about about maybe five rounds of them, 10 second holds. So ready, breathe in and squeeze. Think about belly button to spine and think about someone's punching you right now. And breathe out, relax. All right, a couple more. So let's go breathe in and hold, squeeze those abs. Think about your flexing those abs. Good. A couple more seconds and relax. Breathe. So stretch it out a little bit. We're going to do two more of those holds. So relax and breathe in. And hollow hold. Good. Five. And three. Two, one, relax. All right, let's do one last one. This time, if you want to make it even a little bit more hard, go ahead, further off of your uh, chair, the closer back you're going to be. You're not going to engage them as much. You can also lift your legs up. That'll make it even more challenging. So ready, set, and hold. So I'm going to show you the modification of holding those legs up. It's going to make it a little bit more challenging. And hold this one a little bit longer. Three, two, and one. Good. So next one, you can be standing or seated. Doesn't matter. We're just going to use our arms. So we're going to do bicep curls. So um, the difference between normal bicep curls, we kind of have our dumbbells in our hand and we're kind of more fluid with it. So this one, I want you to think you're completely stretched out. Palms are facing up. And what I want you to do when you curl in for those biceps, I want you to squeeze as hard as you can. Feel that tension. Feel like you're you're holding something really heavy in your arms. And then you're going to relax. So, ready? We're going to just keep going. Let's try to go up and hold for five seconds. And then lower and relax. So, up and squeeze. You're like flexing. <laughs> hold and relax and flex up so notice i'm still engaging my core a little bit i'm still thinking about my abs and lower um i'm still thinking about it and i'm still having a straight back so you can do multiple um, body groups at the same time so let's flex back up and really hold and relax so let's go a little faster these couple so up flex and lower Flex, lower, flex, lower. Let's get five more. Two, three, two more, four, last one, and five. Good. So this next one we're going to be seated as well. So kind of like the same thing with the abs that we just did. The difference is you're going to be seated in your seat. You can use the back of your chair, but I don't want you to slunch over or slouch over. I want you to kind of still be straight up. I want you to lift your legs up. And what I want you to do is put your hands on your um, seat. And if you can, I want you to either lift up one leg and do that same move with that we did earlier with our abs or we're squeezing as hard as we can in our abs and lifting one leg closer. So if you notice, I'm not wide with the legs, nice and straight, so you can't really see much. Um, also, you can go a little harder by lifting both legs. So go ahead, find your 
modification of breathe. So we're just doing crunches. Good. Breathe. So ten more crunches. Ten. Nine. Eight. Squeeze the core. Engage it. Three, two, last one, relax. We're going to do another set of those. We're going to go a little less reps. So breathe for a sec. I know it's going to feel a little bit in the quads as well because you're stretching back. Again, if two legs are a little too, bit too much for you, just do the one. Make sure we're squeezing that core. So right, let's do another 15 seconds of these. Ready and go. The more you crunch in with it, so if you lift off the chair a little bit, you're going to get a little bit more of the burn. Good. And three, two, and one. Relax. So next one, we're going to be standing. So you can get those seats off and move it to the side. So this one, I'm going to go from the side a little bit. We're going to do a squat and curl through one leg. When you get up to this curl, I want you to squeeze as hard as you can before we lower back. So squat and squeeze. So these are going to be working our hamstrings, and then the, the squat is going to be working a little bit of the hamstrings and the quads. So the quads are the front of your legs. So we're just alternating side to side. Make sure if you want to take a couple extra seconds up at the top and really squeeze, please do so. If you're wearing a skirt, go a little bit closer together. Just curl and curl. Again, think about like there's something, you're holding something right here and you don't want to let it drop, like a pen. You're squeezing as hard as you can at that top. Good, we're gonna have another 10 seconds. Good, and three, two, last one, and relax. So the next one we're going to do, we're going to be standing straight up, and what we're going to have one leg the whole time. So I'm going to start with my right leg. To you, it's left, but either way, it doesn't matter. We're going to get into a, a squat, but our legs are closed together, not like a traditional squat where you're uh, squat like you're wide. You're going to be narrow, and what you're going to do you're going to stay lower the whole time and you're going to tap back with your other leg. So I'm going to go from the side so you can see I'm lowered and I tap back and you tap. So it's going to be a lot on the knee and the, and the quads. If you can't do it because you have knee problems or issues, just do a regular squat and kick back. Don't um, put as much pressure in that lower squat. So whenever you're ready, go. Let's stay on one leg the whole time. I'm going to go a little bit more from an angle. Notice I'm low the whole time. I'm going to feel it in my butt as well. And hips. Good. Breathe. Let's get up. Let's stretch it out for a sec. We're going to do one more round of those. Stretch. Shake it out. And go lower again. Good. If you can go a little bit lower this time, go for it. You got about 10 seconds. Let's get five more taps. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Shake it out. And we're going to do the other side. So get set. Shake it one more. And lower into our squat and let's go other leg good if you want to hold on to something while you do it as well that's totally fine i'm challenging my balance a little bit by not having anything as you can see as i'm rocking back and forth good let's go five more seconds and we're taking a quick rest and we're doing one more round of that and three two and relax so stretch it out do one more round so 
like I said in the comments, if you're watching with someone else, please put um, the total amount of people that is watching with you, including yourself, so we can uh, account for as many people as possible. So let's lower back in and go again. A little lower this time if you can. An another way to challenge yourself even more, if this isn't hard enough, don't ever tap your foot back. So lower into that narrow squat and kick and crunch back in. Really focusing on balance today. You're going to need it with all the ice outside. <laughs> Good. Ten seconds. Three, two, last kick, and relax. Good, stretch it out. So last two are, again, um, lower body moves this time. Again, so we're going to focus on our hips. So I want you to stand straight up, uh, legs together. What you're going to do, you can put your hand on your hips or one hand on the desk if you want a little bit more support. But we're going to kick back. So I'm going to put the camera down a little bit so you can see me a little bit better. So... Really, you need to focus on the feet here. So we're going to kick back so your right foot is behind your left foot. And then you're going to lift up laterally. So to the side. And then back, lower back to your other leg. So we're just doing leg lifts to the side. So squeeze that hip and glute at the top. And lower back all the way behind your other leg. I'm going to show you that you can use your desk. If you want to make it a little more challenging, squat, step, and kick. So curtsy lunge is the other modification. Almost there. Ten seconds. And three, two, one. And relax, stretch, we're going to do the same thing, other leg. So we go on this camera view. So here's my desk. If you want that modification, ready, and go, other leg. So behind and left. If you want to work your abs with it too, grab this hand, your left hand, to your left leg at the top. So show you. So you would go back and crunch in like that. You work a little bit more of your obliques over there. But other than that, just keep working those legs side and back. Good. Almost there. Ten seconds. And three, two, and one. All right, so last move of the day, and then we will be done. Um, what we're going to do is just regular squats. So you're going to lower and back up. So um, if you want to go wider, go ahead. I'm just going about shoulder width apart, and then lowering, putting my hips back. Good. And let's take a break here, and let's lower and do a little pulse. Good. And relax. Go back to the top. Let's do one more round of that. Let's try to get 10 squats in. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more. And let's hold and pulse. One. And five, four, three, two, and relax. Stretch it out. All right, so we are done for the day. Hope you got warmed up a little bit um, from sitting at your desk. Um, other than that, tomorrow is going to be another strength class. Um, I believe Drew is teaching it. Could be Susan, but um, yeah, at 11.30 tomorrow, strength. So feel free to join us. Thanks. Thank you.